Welcome back everybody, VST here at SPC Tech. You know the story, I made a video yesterday about using the Galaxy S24 Ultra outside under direct sunlight and the device gets hot and apparently what happens, the device overheats and yes, there is a thermal protection kicking in, thermal management and yeah, the display just becomes unreadable and I'm even more dissatisfied because my S23 Ultra just behaves like a champ. Now. There might be a solution to this. I'm gonna link this down below into the comments. So I'm reading XTA. There is this guy here, Extreme Carver. So he is suggesting something he read somewhere else. All the information is gonna be down below in the comments. So he's saying it's an easy solution. We need to install Shizuku, run the system UI tuner, and then perform certain activity, which I'm gonna do right now together with you guys. And then I'm gonna go outside under direct sunlight and test it. And let's hope that I can really move away from this. And I do understand, so please try to understand as well that there are some risks involved if you disable thermal management and some kind of limits, in this case, brightness limits. That is not really how the manufacturer, in this case, Samsung intended you to use the phone, but at the end of the day, those are our devices, so yeah, we are allowed to just make the best out of them. So, first things first, guys, we need to download two applications. One thing is called Shizuku. This application is available on the Play Store, but you require an ADB connection with your PC to enable it. So, just the moment you have your phone, hook it up to your PC, and you need to enable it with using one command. Let me show you how this works. This is the command that I'm using, so the moment you start it, boom, something like this will happen and then you're gonna have something like Shizuku is running. So now that Shizuku is running, we need to go back to the Play Store and download another application. This time it's called the System UI Tuner, right? It's free, you can download it from the Play Store. Now, when you set it up for the first time, there's gonna be some permissions that you have to grant for the tool to operate, but once you're there, guys, just scroll down on the system, on the lock screen, right? And on the lock screen, basically, you have these two icons. We have the phone here, the dialer, and then the camera. So choose whatever you want. In my case, this was the camera. And replace it with something else. Now, what is this something else? Start typing as DHM, and you're gonna see Samsung Device Health Manager Service. So apparently, replace that one. And what is the effect of this, guys? Now, when I go on my lock screen, yeah, I'm gonna have here the dialer, but then here is this thing that you can just start. It's not the camera, it is the Samsung device, health manager, whatever. Go inside, there's gonna be something called limit control. Now we need to disable this and this, but if you disable first this one, you're going to anyway disable the brightness limits, the CPTM and etc. So what I do right now, I'm gonna hit brightness limits off, and then I'm going to select disable thermal throttling, and of course the device will restart, you can see, Anyway, you can just probably disable the first one. Now the phone is going to restart, guys. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go outside on the balcony under the direct sunlight and just see what is gonna happen. Now, disclaimer here, right? If you don't really need to mess up with your phone, don't do this. But if you are like me, you cannot take it anymore. Just the fact that the screen is 2600 nits and it's barely readable under direct sunlight. Just go and do this. But you have in mind, this phone uses Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and this generates a lot of heat. And this is the reason why Samsung designed it like this, okay? Because inside, indoors, I don't have this problem with my screen not being visible, but the moment I go outside, it is a disaster. But once again, huge disclaimer here, guys, if you don't want to mess up with your phone, just don't do this. But yeah, if you want to experiment, then you can do this, all right? And this is here now the lock screen. I'm just going to check what happens. So I'm just gonna try to open this. It's not the camera, it is this SDHMS. Well, why is this required? When you go back in the original XTA article, you're gonna see that the screen tries to dim to 200 nits when the phone reaches 42 Celsius, right? And based on this reading here, I'm already at 48, okay? So again, if you don't wanna mess up with your device, don't do this. Right now, I have directly disabled all kind of thermal throttling. And by the way, a lot of you suggested that I should go to Good Guardians, go to additional settings, and then disable the decreased maximum brightness when heating, but I never selected this. And you can see, yes, I up my thermal threshold with another two points, so two Celsius. So right now, disable thermal throttling, the brightness limits is off, and I am going to show you this is it. So let's go inside the settings, guys. Let's just memorize this. I'm gonna go now outside the bright sunlight. It is almost 4 p.m. It's not summer anymore. We have 24 degrees, right? So anyway, it is not so hot, but then let's see what is gonna happen. All right, I'm outside. And as you can see, I'm already using the phone under direct sunlight. And I'm gonna go inside the settings from what I see right now. Yeah, first things, guys, that I notice, 
those annoying PWM scan lines are not here, right? Now more sun is coming in. Right now I can even pump the extra brightness, wasn't possible before, and then of course go to adaptive brightness. But right now this really seems to be working. So absolute great work from these guys on XDA. Let's check the readings. The device temperature now is set to 41, but it seems that, yeah, whatever this thing is doing, it really works because the screen is so much brighter now. It's really how it's used to be. And I do believe that this is a fix. I'm even not sure if that's the best fix, but right now even more sun is shining, guys. The screen is directly illuminated. The screen is so much readable and I'm even not sure if you can see this on the camera, but what I'm gonna do for a test, I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna disable the thermal throttling, my phone is going to restart again, and I'm gonna show you how it works without this setting, where apparently the brightness limits kicks in. So let's see what happens. And now I'm inside, and this is absolutely terrible, guys. I'm even not sure if the camera is able to pick this up. Let me just try to go down like this. No, you see, the screen is almost not visible, and anything I do really will not help. So let me show you, if I go inside the display, right and uh, yeah you see nothing really works here i'm back in the sdhms tool guys and what i want to do go back inside the limit control and just turn on brightness limits and you see this is absolutely killing it guys without the brightness limit off it is just so bad the moment i put it in boom i'm finally able to just crank more brightness and again right now 100 percent sun illuminating my screen i do believe this is a fix i do believe a great job has been done by this guys a lot of respect for xda and the senior member extreme cover who really shared this solution i cannot even believe how quick and easy this is and right now my phone is very much usable so thank you so much guys you've earned so much respect from me and guys again if you want to fix this yes this is the issue and again be warned the disclaimer is still here but apparently if you are not willing to take this anymore turning this off might solve your issue but you are not meant to use that i guess anyway thank you so much for watching guys vst over stay safe bye